Okay, hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be showing you this video, and uh, it's a request by one of my subs. I actually don't know if he subbed or, subbed or not, but he asked the question on one of my YouTube videos. And here's the question first. So thanks for a nice tutorial, by the way, can you make a tutorial about how text can animate in, a, in oval? I mean the word moving in a circle like the earth fly around the sun, but imagine without the sun just flying around the circle. So I, it was real. It, it's um, the way I think he means it is making words rotate around like this. I'll show you. Like so. It only goes for two seconds because I messed up some of my uh, animation options. But uh, I don't know. I hope he mean. I hope he meant like that. I guess I'll send him uh, a link to the video, and I'll ask him if that's what he meant. So let's set this back to frame one. Okay. I don't go on into magic yet. Um, so yeah, first off, you need your text. Um, I made this like two seconds. Um, first, first four letters are right way around. The last three are the wrong way around. And you see they're quite large. They're not evenly spaced. It's just a mess. Um, I just wanted something to chuck up, so, uh, yeah. By the way, those letters don't mean anything. I was just bored. Okay, let's, uh, shift A, add a curve. You want a NURBS, cur NURBS circle. Very important. And we'll press G, Y. You want, you want it behind it, like, uh, you can see that there, I'm sure. It's fairly close, but it's behind it. And uh, what we want to do is we want to get it roughly in the circle. Sent. Oh, well, actually, no. We'll do we'll do the letters around first. Okay. So what you do is you got to select your text first, and then sh by holding down Shift and right-clicking the NURB circle. Just do that. Press Control P, and go. Um, I've got to remember, I think it's curved to form. I don't think it is. Hang on. Old days. Is that going to work? Actually, I think that is it. But. I messed that up a little bit, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So there's a little bit of tweaking there that needs to be done. But. Yeah, that's what you need to do. You need to. I'll show you that again. So, with the text selected first, shift right click the NURB circle, control P, cur curve to form. And if it does this, all you'll do is grab the, uh, the text, just yeah, grab the text and press G, and then move it out. Uh, until your desired distance away. I don't mind relatively to stay relatively intact. So mine's pretty much bordering on the uh, on the nerves circle there. Now we'll go view top. Actually, now I'll show you the rotation first. We'll, we'll move this. Uh, it's not going to let me, is it? Just gonna let me move this down, yep. Cause I like my uh text to be relatively in line. So you see. And uh normally when you have a circle you can just do this, the path animation stuff. It wasn't working for me. I don't know if this option um cancels it out or what's going on oh, sorry. Or what's going on. So the way you gotta do it is just at its neutral neutral spot at frame 1, press I, lock rot scale for location and rotation scale. This is why you have the NURB circle um, selected by the way. You can see down here. And then say you wanted this to rotate around for the full 250 frames. Um, if you do 250 and then rotate the circle 360 degrees, doesn't work. And if you do 
259, again, doesn't work. It only rotates one frame. So what you have to do is you have to go halfway, which uh, we'll do 250 in this case. So half of 250 is 125. And then all you do is rotate it on the z-axis, or whatever axis is going straight up and down. Or you could do a mixture of axis, ax, ax, axes. I guess that's the right word to use. Um, yeah, do a mixture of axes to give like a side rotation effect, but I'll leave that up to you. I'm just doing the basic spinning. Uh, with that, with uh, pressing R, X, R, Z, I mean, you go to type 180, just 180, and as you see, it moves. And now you press I, lock rot scale, then you go to the 250 mark, um, R, Z, 180, Oh shit, typed in 160 there. Uh, Z 180 I look at scale. And now you see it turns around. There's only one problem with this that I have found, and that is this right here. The uh the 125. Um it speeds it, it speeds up, goes good speed, slows down a bit when it gets to there, and then speeds it up and then slows down to get it again. You can't Oh yeah, you can see it there. So that's that's the only problem with that. But uh, shouldn't make that much difference. Um, uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to get around that. There, there would be, but again, very simple tutorial. Uh, so yeah. So now, and um, if you want to do what I did and you just press Shift A. Add mesh, UV sphere, size it down a little, smooth, uh, I'm just going to chuck a material on it. This is my favorite material, by the way, except when it's full red and th that's up. So let's move this camera over. By the way, if you don't want to be messing around with lighting, um, like I do a lot. I hate messing around with lighting. Just go over here to the World tab and turn on Environment Lighting. Um, let's go Sky. Uh, let's just go White. Um, I, I really want to give a shout out to both these people. Okay, the person that asked the question about the rotating text, Super Anthony 2006. Um, thanks for. Yeah, thanks for asking the question because if you didn't, I wouldn't have ever thought to do it. So, thanks there, and that's not it, that's not it, here we go, um, 88, it says, thanks for the with the MH box, is it, um, yeah, I've noticed that you have had issues with lighting and renders, go to the world tab, board icon next to the object, box icon, check the ambient occlusion box, and you'll have full lightings, quick and easy. Case is ambient inclusion, I went environment lighting. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll turn both on, I guess. It's all the same to me. And now let's render this out. And as you see there, there's text, and I just rendered out a picture. I don't really want to render out the animation again. And the reason the text is such a crappy color is because I'm using a crappy... Oh, I don't have any decent ones there, do I? Um, we'll just go blue. That way it stands out a lot. Okay, it's not going blue. What the hell's going on here? I know, it's just... Oh, one sec, I see what's going on. Never mind. I know someone's going to call me a noob. And I deserve it. I had two text I had two materials going on and it was messing up. So there you go. Um my color choice sucked ass, I know, except for the center. That is my favorite material I have ever made in this in Blender. But Alt A, as you see, it turns quite slowly, but it gets near one twenty five, as you saw, it got really slow.
There you go. That's, um, I hope that is what you wanted. But, uh, if it's rotating the wrong direction you want, just instead of rotating 180 degrees positive, rotate 180 degrees minus, like minus 180 degrees. So that way it rotates the opposite way, which would be anti-clockwise, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, that's right. At least I hope it's right. I'll sound like a dumbass if I get it wrong. Um, so yeah, that's it for this tutorial. And uh, if these letters were smaller and had better spacing and were just better letters in general, it, it this would turn out quite nicely and you could use it easily. Probably five, ten minutes um, intro, like, not five, not, don't make the intro five, ten minutes, but a quick ten second intro that will only take you about five minutes to do. But, um, as always, thanks for watching, and to anyone, um, especially you, Super Anthony 2006, I hope this actually helped you, but to everyone, I hope this helps in some way, and, um, as always, have a nice day, and, yeah. Also, you can uh, ask me for tutorials. I'm fine by that.